Let's get straight to the point and avoid all of this extra stuff. No, no, not them, although they're cool too. This, this is why we're here. Today was the first episode of the Behind the Sims series. This new community series will cover the latest updates, sneak peeks, and deep dives into game development, including Project Renee, The Sims Mobile, The Sims Free Play, and The Sims 4. Now, I'm going to say what everyone is thinking. And I think I said this last time. This could have been an email. No, seriously. It could have been a written blog post or even a YouTube short. I don't understand why we're waiting a few days for the trailer for the new expansion pack when it could have been included in this. I do like how they're becoming open about information, like sharing more about Project Renee or sharing behind the scenes info, but come on my dudes. Consolidate. Of course, we're all here for the brand new life stage, infants, and this trailer did not disappoint. I'm sure by now you've seen the trailer, but if you haven't, you can expect infants to arrive in The Sims 4 on March 14th. Now let's talk about some key elements and points. I like how you can see brand new infant items, like this classic baby rattle. Of course, infants have this terrifying no nail look on their fingers. It's kind of creepy. Although you quickly forget about that as soon as you see the baby do this little stretch. It might be the cutest thing a sim baby has ever done, ever. There's a lot to talk about here, so I gotta talk about create a sim first. I adore the way infants are displayed in create a sim. I was quite curious about how this would work, but this is the perfect way. I like seeing their process for deciding this. I do agree with them. Some of the ways would have been pretty creepy, particularly this one. They really do look like little toddlers, which I'm fine with. In fact, that's perfect. It makes the two life stages feel seamless. Moreover, some of the toddler clothing can be seen on the infants here. So yeah, you know what? I do like that. Despite not enjoying it when they reuse assets for various life stages normally, this makes more sense than having a toddler and an elder be able to share the same hairstyle. You know? It's not that, it's different. Something I've talked about in the previous video would be their hair. I'm quite happy with the new hairstyles, especially these two. It looks like we'll be able to use toddler hair on the infants, so that means you can use the bigger hairstyles if you want to, but there's also enough thinner hairs. I love this shot in particular because you can see this huge toddler hair on this one, and then this infant is just bald. It's cute and it reflects real life. It's great. They've added other cast items as well, like these little teethies. Most importantly, they've added these helmets. In real life, these helmets help mold the baby's skull into shape. It's called helmet therapy. It's very helpful since sometimes babies' heads don't form properly. The other very important cast item would be these beautiful birthmarks. I do wonder if that means they will be available for all life stages on March 14th. In addition, infants will have brand new traits. They're represented here by these three icons. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark here and say this one is sunny, like a happy infant. This one is some sort of anxious, clingy infant. And this one is easygoing or maybe independent. Who knows? What do you think the icons represent? I adore most of the brand new infant related items. Most of all, I love the mobile and crib. I'm crossing my fingers that toddlers will also be able to use the cribs. Anywho, this nursery looks great. It does feel a wee bit outdated, but at the same time there are elements to it that you would find in a nursery today, in this current year of 2023. For example, the shelving units on the wall. I know two people off the top of my head right now that have those exact shelves in their baby's nursery. Although I haven't seen this exact design, I have seen something very similar to it. The toys like this stacker are spot on. Then again, those are classics, the staples of infant toys. So I expect to see this here. I love that they showed us this infant bathtub in use. It's great. I am hoping that we'll be able to bathe them in the sinks as well, since not every household has a bathtub, but this is pretty great. I'm surprised we didn't really get to see the playpen or the baby gate. Actually, we do get a tiny glimpse of both of them right here. I wish we could have seen more, but I guess they do have to keep the air of mystery to something, somehow. The fact that all of these infants are utilizing the toddler high chair makes me happy because yes, 
but it frames me to my core. I don't want to have to deal with any high chair bugs with infants. Please fix that bug. That's why I was very glad to see that we'll be able to breastfeed or bottle feed the infants as well. As expected, the interactions are very sweet. From the peekaboo, feeding your infant, the spit up, the burping, stretching, crawling, biting, bathing them, and playing are all incredibly cute. I enjoy the fact that they broke down some of the animations for the infants and how challenging it was to add a new life stage. Sims can stand or sit down while holding the infants. They'll be able to talk to them, nurse them, and hand them off to other Sims. The infants will be sort of flopping around with over-exaggerated, uncoordinated movements as they develop their motor skills. A prime example of this would be when they transition from sitting to laying down on their back. They will be able to crawl up and down steps. That means that they won't be trapped anywhere. Unless you try to trap them somewhere. They've added new interactions between infants, toddlers, children, adult sims, and even cats and dogs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Infants can interact with cats and dogs. Yes. The voices are made specifically so that they're still cute sounding even when the infant is upset. They're realistic, but adorable. Something that's not adorable, not going to lie, would be this smile. It's very creepy. There's something really off with this toothless, full-on smile that they got going on here. Infants are going to be chaotic. This is a good example of what the seven toddlers or seven infant challenge will look like. All of this crying. We'll be back in a few days with more about the expansion pack, but for today, let's take a second to enjoy this adorable family. And the fact that we're most likely getting family reunions, an updated family tree, and generations related things. On top of all of this, we got a base game update. This included new content including medical wearables, binders, shapewear, and a light switch. These are all very exciting and I think a ton of people will be pleased with these new items. You'll be able to find the hearing aids in this category. In addition, you can find other medical wearables in this cast category. This includes two different patches for glucose monitors and a few different locations for them. Both the hearing aids and the glucose monitors will be available for your children, teens, and adults. I am very happy about this since my younger brother has type 1 diabetes. Now I could remake him with his monitor if I wanted to. So beware, Evan. I'm making you in The Sims 4. Deal with it. In the same body category, you'll find the new body scar. This option is available for teens and older Sims. Keep in mind, it's only available for males, but it is available for Sims with either a masculine or feminine frame. Under tanks in the tops category, you'll be able to find a binder top for your teens and older Sims. In the underwear category for bottoms, there's a new shapewear. I love this update and I want them to keep doing free base game updates like this one. Now that we got a release date, I think we can all settle down a little bit. Although it's hard to do that when you've gotten your favorite sim pregnant and you can't play them until March 14th. Well, I guess it's similar to a real life pregnancy. The last few months are the hardest and you're even more impatient to meet your infant. Thank you for watching this update video. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm hoping that you're doing great and staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Go get a cup of water, okay? I can't wait to talk more about this with you in the future. Until then, bye.